everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Bare Minerals new Bounce and Blur collection. Um, I've seen some videos online of it right now, but I haven't seen much. And if you are like unaware of this line, um, Haley Bieber, Haley Baldwin, is their new campaign model. I think she's beautiful. I like a lot of the stuff she uses for Bare Minerals. Like we have skin, similar um, hair and skin tone and eye color. So like a lot of the stuff that she wears in the campaigns, I like too. So um, I did find this campaign with her in it interesting and I thought the colors that she was wearing looked really pretty. So um, as always, I was very lucky and very appreciative of Bare Minerals. They did send me the two palettes and the four blushes in the Bounce and Blur line, complimentary for testing purposes to share with you guys so that way you can see everything. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, the thought behind the Bounce and Blur collection is that it's very weightless and buildable mineral-based color that you can use entirely with your fingers. You do not need a brush, which is a pretty cool idea. If maybe the whole no brush thing came into play five to ten years ago, like I just feel like everybody has brushes now. Where even if you are a newbie, you there's so many affordable brush lines out there that you have some kind of a maker brush. However, with that being said, a lot of people are moving back to the more basic makeup applications, just pretty effortless, quick, mom on the go, model off duty, that kind of look. So for those of us who are in that phase of our lives, which is me, um, quicker makeup and easy to apply things are intriguing. So um, I was intrigued to try these eyeshadow palettes out, especially because Nobody's really been able to come out with an eyeshadow palette that you can like use your fingers with. A cream stick eyeshadow, yes, but like an actual palette of eyeshadows, not really. So I was intrigued to see what this collection would be like. So um, it comes with two eyeshadow palettes. Now, I also won the Influencer Vox box, including one of these palettes and a mini of the eye of the blushes. So I am going to be giving away the um, one that the PR company sent me which is the full size of the blush and the dusk eyeshadow so this is the one influencer sent me along with the mini blush in mauve sunrise and this is what i'm going to give away the mauve sunrise full size and this palette unused obviously um, i don't need two so this is let's get into the eyeshadows so these are the two palettes Ugh, i don't want to blind you guys maybe like this so this is Dawn, much more cool tones and lighter shades. It's actually what I'm wearing today. And this is Dusk. It's more of your warm tone, fall, autumn kind of tones, darker shades. Um, the formulas perform very similarly. I have no issues with consistency. And um, yeah, so to give you an idea of what they feel like if you've never touched these yet, they are similar to the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, except a little more firm. Uh, and a little less squishy, but they still have that same idea of the texture. So uh, I'm gonna just go through swatches of the shades. So use your fingers to get the best application. So let's go into Dusk. Um, it's a little deceiving what you will see on my fingers versus what's go what goes on your eye, but Here's Dusk. I want my camera to focus here. There we go. So there's the lightest shade, the gold, so you can see, and the others. I will swatch them on my hand so you can see how they would transfer a little bit. And they look creamy and pigmented and buttery when I swatch them on my hand. They don't go on the eyes the same, okay? So why am I so dumb at this? No, maybe not. Okay, I will do better with the next one. So that's Dawn. Again, like I said, those are autumn shades. I need a new makeup wipe. Let's do, I mean, that was Dusk. I'm so sorry. I think I said Dawn. Let's do Dawn, the lighter ones. One, two, three, four, five. I like to do the same like amount of swishes on each color. All right, let's make sure I hold my arm up. So, the lightest one, can you even see it? This is really hard to do. 
oh my god, you guys probably can barely see these. Obviously it's on my eyes, so this just goes to show you what you see on my arm is not the same as what happens when you put it on your eyes, okay? So that's why we are gonna have a little demo in a minute or two, so. Okay, those are the eyeshadows. I'll tell you right now, not my favorite. But teach their own. I mean, whoever wins the palette, you guys might really like it. So anyway, let's get into the blushes. The blushes are beautiful. The blushes are where this line shines, okay? So they have four, I think they picked four beautiful shades that will suit a variety of skin tones. I personally can wear all of them, which doesn't really happen often. They are all very flattering on. Um, I do have two favorites, but I mean, I've used all of them and they all are beautiful. And they both, and they work with brushes or with your fingers. So this is Moff Sunrise. This is the mini that I got from Influencer. I'm gonna actually just put these on my hand. So there's the Moff Sunrise. Very pretty. I would say it's like, a straight mauve almost like a fuchsia kind of this is the darkest one they make the darkest color the next one is one of my two personal favorites it's coral cloud it's what I'm wearing today love this one as you would imagine like a coral peach the next one's the one Hailey Bieber uses in the ad um, it's pink cloud I want to say it's called I think Pink sky. This is just a true, like a baby pink. Or maybe you would call it like a Barbie pink. It's pink sky. And the last one is the lightest one they do and it's called Blurred Buff. Also really pretty and my second favorite one, of course. So that's Blurred Buff, very neutral. Okay, like a neutral beige with a hint of warmth. So those are the four blushes. These are gorgeous. Those shades are perfect and equally amazing, beautiful, consistent texture throughout. The blushes are awesome. Totally recommend the blushes. I think they'll be beautiful in now in the fall and the winter because they're not drying. They're supposedly, they supposedly like blur imperfections. So they go on the skin really flattering. I mean, I think you guys can see my blush looks really pretty today, I think, and it's because of these blushes. So if you're interested in seeing how the eyeshadow goes on my eyes, which is very different than how it swatches on your fingers, definitely keep watching. You can also see the um, blushes, but that's my thoughts on this line. I think the eyeshadows are past. I think the blushes are beautiful, but if you are interested in winning the Dusk palette, which is the deeper fall shades or the Moth Sunrise blush, I'm gonna give one person, I'm gonna give this away to one person, um, and all you have to do is be a subscriber and make a comment. Like, just comment below on this video and let me know what you're more excited about trying, the blush or the eyeshadow. <laughs> um, and anyway, that's all I have to say about this. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get into the demo. Intro, so this is Dusk. It's more of like the warm, fallish kind of tones. And then there's Dawn, which is much more muted and like cool toned. Now, I've already played with this one enough to know what I think about it, so I am actually going to use Dawn today since I've never used this one before. So, all right, let's do this with the finger. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the lightest shade, Stormy Sky, or no, maybe it's Aurora Light. Sorry, it's like white, like a white color. Um, and I'm gonna try to put this on the brow bone and um, in the inner corner. Now, when I put it on my finger, it looks very, um, holographic, is that the right word? Hollow? Yeah, it's definitely a little hollow. I don't even know if this camera's gonna pick this up. <laughs> and then a little here in the inner corner. Well, I think you guys can kind of see it. Look, it's very pretty, it's just so subtle. Okay, and then next is like the goldish beige shade called Pink Cloud. I'm gonna use the same finger, put that kind of on the lid, and just gradiate this over. All right, that's looking pretty nice, actually. I'm not hating this one. The other one I kind of didn't really like, to be totally honest, if I haven't said that already in the intro. That looks pretty, right? 
of course the difficulty comes when you try to get like crease work done so that's kind of where we're heading um, this third shade is called misty morning it's like a mauve with a um, it's just like a cool toned mauve which all right kind of looks like a mauvey brown and i'm gonna put this in the outer corner it's not picking up too much because it's basically my skin tone well, not my skin tone, my skin tone isn't mauve, but you know what I mean, like it doesn't have enough contrast. Let's try to pull it up a little bit more into the crease bone in my eye. I mean, it's there, but it's very subtle. Let's pull it through the whole crease. Alright, I think the camera is... I mean, the light in my room is kind of being weird right now because the sun's being weird outside. So, hopefully you guys can still see what we're dealing with. Alright, I think that's as much as we're going to get there. I'm going to go back to that lighter gold shade and reapply so I don't lose the light. Okay. Alright, the third darkest shade is called Hazy Taupe, down here. I'm going to put that in the same area, just layer it up to deepen the depth. This is more of a matte shade. And I'm just kind of patting it, patting and pressing. Okay, you can see it a little bit. So now here's two layers. We're getting there. I just feel like this takes longer than a brush for me. But it's nice to not have to use your brush. Like you can do it with your fingers. So I'm pulling it up a little bit, like feeling where the bone of my eye is. What do you guys think so far? It's kind of like meh. Alright, and then the darkest shade, obviously I'm going to really kind of try to get that in my lash line and then a little on the lower. And the darkest shade is called Stormy Sky. It's like a really dark charcoal. Alright, that was one layer. Let's do another. Adding and smudging here along the lash line, and that's you can. I think you can see it, right? Let's try to layer it up on the very outer edge. Okay, and then on the lower lash line. That's kind of pretty, actually. It's very soft, which is totally okay. If that's the look you're going for. I'm going to go back in with that light gold shade, the second one we used, and re-layer it with a clean finger. Because now this finger I've used everything on. I'm just going to use my middle finger and re-layer the gold so it doesn't get lost. And maybe re-layer also that white in the beginning. Alright, so that's basically the look with all four shades on that eye. I don't know. Let's, I'm just going to quickly do the same thing on the other eyes to match and then I'll be right back with both eyes done. And it, to me, looking at the viewfinder and in my mirror, it just looks sloppy or, and or not even. Like I feel like the lid color is not even, like this side looks brighter on the lid and I've layered this up so much. It just it's not easy to match up. I also feel like the shades, when you use them, this happened with the other palette, they get like matted down, like the color gets almost like when you put a wet brush on a dry powder, where it gets like that layer on it where you can't pick up the color, and I was not pressing very hard. The color's there, it's a very soft and soft focused. Um, I just don't know if this is worth the effort just to not use a brush like yeah you didn't have to use a brush and you have eyeshadow on but i feel like if you just get one versatile eyeshadow brush you can do a look like this that's going to look a lot more polished with an eyeshadow palette so i don't know i love a lot of the i love most all of the bare mineral stuff that they've done recently but these palettes are really 
I don't know. So I'm just going to go and finish the eye look. We're going to add some eyeliner. And I'm not even going to do anything fancy. I'm just doing a very thin line. I did like a little flick, but I wouldn't call this a cat eye. And of course when you put eyeliner on, it always looks makes the eyeshadow look prettier, but still, I mean, not pretty enough, I don't think. What inevitably happens with eyeliner happens to us all. One side becomes a little more dramatic than the other, and then you get an even amount. All right, let's throw some mascara on. That also always helps. I'm just using my Maybelline Lash Sensational, trying to finish this tube up because it is pretty old. Okay, so here's the eyes with your eyeliner and your mascara on. It's pretty. It's basic, it's pretty, I don't think it's anything special, other than the fact that it's cool that you don't need a brush. At this point, who doesn't have a brush? But, okay, let's get into the blushes, because that's, I think, where this line really shines. But I think I'm going to go with the Coral Cloud today. Um, so this is Coral Cloud. I'm going to do one application, one side applied with a um, blush brush. And then one side with my hand. Brush brush is clean. There is nothing coming off. So we're gonna go in with this formula coral cloud on this side with my blush brush. Sorry, I'm looking in a mirror so I don't look crazy. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That looks natural. It's so easy to build. So pretty. This blush is gorgeous. All of the colors perform similarly when you apply. I've used them all. Um, and they look pretty with the finger or the brush. So, okay, my hands are clean. No eyeshadow. I'm going to use my fingers on this side. So I'm just picking up the product with my two fingers. And I'm going to make this funny face. And basically do the same thing. Kind of like pat and press it in. Make sure it's even. Yeah, that's plenty. All right, so I do feel like I went a little heavier with the hand, but in a way that's a good thing because now you see like a little goes a long way. So just making sure it's even. My personal preference is the brush. I still think the fingers are nice to use, but I do like the brush better with the blush. But I think those blushes are 100% awesome. So cool. They wear really well. Really well. I was really shocked because I feel like cream blushes, I don't know, melt away, kind of fade away. These are like not a normal cream. They're like that bouncy powdery texture and they last so nice. So yeah, that's my thoughts on these. The blushes are a total hit. The eyeshadow, I honestly would pass on and I hate saying that because I do love bare mineral stuff and I hope they don't get upset that I say that, but um, the blushes are amazing. Amazing job on the blushes. The eyeshadows, <sighs> anyway, if you are interested in winning the Dusk palette, which is right here, untouched, brand new, beautiful. Get the fingerprints all over it. It will be cleaned, don't worry. Um, or the blush in Mauve Sunrise, which is a very versatile shade. You just have to subscribe and comment below and you will be entered to win. So I appreciate you guys for following me on my YouTube channel if you are coming from the blog um, or if you've found my blog through my YouTube channel, that's awesome as well. But this is just a little something fun and extra if you are a subscriber to take advantage of. So I hope you have fun and I hope you guys win. So anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.